Hello and hope you are happy. Today we want to talk about one of the most valuable filmmakers. Abbas Kiarostami is one of the modern filmmakers, author and stylist who has caused the name of Iranian cinema to be raised in the international arena and he's also called the reputation of Iranian cinema for this reason. Abbas Kiarostami was born on June 22, 1940 in Tehran. Kiarostami spent his high school years in the Golhak neighborhood. At school, he was a classmate of people who later became important figures in the arts. Among these people, we can mention Ali Golestane, Aydin Aqdashlu, Bahman Farzane, and Morteza Mumayez. Kiarostami was attracted to the art of painting from a young age and continued it until the end of his adolescence. So perhaps his main artistic profession can be considered painting. Subscribe our YouTube channel to watch the rest of this video and more. He spent all his adolescence painting and learning until he won his first prize in a painting competition at the age of 18. Sometime later, he entered the Faculty of Fine Arts, University of Tehran. Thus, he intensified his activities to learn painting and graphic design and in addition to studying, he worked in the traffic police to cover his university expenses. In 1961, he designed book covers and commercials in 7 Atelier and several other institutes until 6 years later, he started making film credits in Negare organization. This point in Kiarostami's life can be considered the beginning of his future success where the captions of films such as The Temptation of the Will, Kaysar and Reza Motorcyclist were made by Abbas Kiarostami. Abbas Kiarostami married Parvin Amirgoli in 1968. The result of this marriage is two sons named Ahmad and Bahman. Of course, it goes without saying that Kiarostami and Parvin Amirgoli separated in 1981. His first experience in the film of making dates back to 1970 where under the supervision of the cinema department of the Center for the Intellectual Development of Children and Adolescents, he made the short film Bread and Alley. But the beginning of Kiarostami's career can be considered as making the film Passenger in 1974, which made him popular. He can also be considered one of the most active artists of his time. During the years 1962 to 1967, he was able to make 150 TV commercials for Iranian cinema. Abbas Kiarostami is one of those directors who loved Iran very much. After the victory of the Islamic Revolution, he did not leave his homeland at all and considered staying in his hometown as the main reason for his success. Kiarostami believes that staying in Iran has given him more energy to make his films and he has been able to continue his professional life better than before. This educated artist has a beautiful sentence in this regard, which says, if you take a tree that has roots in the soil from one place to another, that tree will no longer bear fruit. And if it does, that other fruit is not as good as the fruit it can bear in its homeland. This is the law of nature. I think if I had left my land, I would have become just like this tree. Abbas Kiarostami's filmmaking period is divided into five different decades. Each of these decades can be seen as a new beginning for Kiarostami and his experience in filmmaking. The first period between 1969 and 1979. In order to create and implement a new wave of Iranian cinema, Abbas Kiarostami helped the Tehran Children and Adolescents Intellectual Development Center to create a new section for filmmaking. Therefore, Kiarostami's 12-minute film, called Bread and Yale, was made in 1970. Two years later, he made the film Break Time and after that, he became the center of a circle to make Iranian films. In this decade, with the peeling of Iranian cinema, Abbas Kiarostami began to make films centered on individualism. After the film experience, Kiarostami made the film The Traveler in 1974. Kiarostami's film The Traveler can be called one of the best in his career. The use of the paradox of the simplicity and complexity of the story as well as the documentary narrative in the form of a film is one of the prominent features of The Traveler, which was less seen in his works after that.
In 1975, Kia Rostami directed two short films called I Can and Two Solutions to a Problem. Sometimes later, he showed the film of colors and then the film of wedding dress. The wedding dress won the Diploma of Honor of the Moscow International Film Festival, the Special Diploma of the Jury and the Special Award of the National Iranian Television at the 11th Tehran International Film Festival for Children and Adolescents. Abbas Kiarostami's first feature film during his filmmaking career was the 112-minute report, which was released in 1977. Also, two years later, he made a film, First Case, Second Case. Second period is between 1979 and 1989. At the beginning of this decade, Kiarostami directed several short films, among which we can mention Toothache, In Order or Without Order, The Chorus, and Fellow Citizen. The beginning of Abbas Kiarostami's global success can be tracked back to 1988 with the film Where is the Friend's Home? Considered. The film won numerous awards, including the Bronze Leopard, the International Confederation of Cinema Art Award, the Fiber Award, and the Film Critics Association Award for Best Picture at the Lacorna Film Festival. The film also won the Steady Gold Medal at the Gifoni Film Festival. Homework was made a year later in 1989 in a critic of the educational system of the same period. In this film, Kiarostami examines the psychological impact of heavy homework on the minds of student children. An issue that has recently been raised in the education system has been one of Kiarostami's concerns for more than 30 years. The third period is between 1989 and 1999, the third decade of Abbas Kiarostami's five decades of work in which we see many lasting and acclaimed works. This decade elevated Kiarostami a few steps above his contemporaries. His first film of the decade was Close Up, a combination of film and documentary. Close Up tells the true story of a personal life named Hossein Sabzian who introduces himself as Mohsen Mahmalbaf. Close Up took another step to make Kiarostami better known outside of Iran. Also, this film was included in the list of the top 50 films in the history of cinema after several years by Sight and Sound magazine. We now turn to three films that critics see as the earthquake trilogy. The first film in the series is Where is the Friend's Home, and the second part is called Life and Nothing More by foreign critics, more by Kiarostami in 1992 won the award of a kind look at the 45th Cannes Film Festival. During that year, Kiarostami received the Roberto Rossellini Award, which was in fact the first award of his career in directing. And finally, throughout the Olive Trees, which critics called the third installment of the trilogy. The film Throughout the Olive Trees was released by Miramax Films in the United States in 1994, and this acclaimed film made Abbas Kiarostami a candidate for the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival for the first time. Critics such as Edwin Martin argue the triangle. Each side intends to tell us a separate story. Now, in addition to playing with the viewer's mind, these stories connect them. Where in the Where is the Friend's Home we witness the events before the earthquake and how we watch what happens to get to the olive groves and the events after the earthquake. Kiarostami's next film was made in 1997 called Taste of Cherry. The Taste of Cherry can be called the most famous work of Kiarostami, the film that won him the Palm d'Or in the same year. It also garnered critical acclaim. Time magazine named this film one of the top 10 films in the history of Cannes Film Festival in 2004. Continuing his success in 1999, Abbas Kiarostami screened the film The Wind 
will carry us. The film won the Silver Venice Film Award and the Fever Venice Film Festival and was selected as one of the top 100 films in world cinema by the organizers of the Toronto International Film Festival. The fourth period is between 1999 and 2009. Abbas Kiarostami traveled to Uganda in 2000 with Saifullah Samadian at the request of the United Nations International Fund for Agricultural Development to make a documentary. During 10 days, he made the documentary ABC Africa. Exactly one year after the ABC Africa documentary, he portrayed the life of an Iranian woman in a film called Ten. A woman sitting in her car talking to 10 different people in sequences. Abbas Kiarostami made a film for the first time in 2003 which is neither dialogue oriented nor has an actor. The film originally showed five scenes from the beaches and the city of Dijon in Spain, each of which lasts about 15 minutes. In showing the film Kiarostami asks the viewer not to leave the hall at all and if they are tired they can close their eyes and enjoy the beautiful music of this movie. And the fifth period was between 2009 and 2019. Kiarostami's first film was filmed and produced outside of Iran in 2010, under the title Certified Copy. The film tells the story of a French woman confronting an English man. In the same year, Certified Copy won the Cannes Film Festival, and actress Juliette Benoche won the Cannes Film Festival for Best Actress. Like Someone in Love after two years away from cinema, Kiarostami was made in 2012. This film was one of the 22nd film in the competition section of the 65 Cannes Film Festival. Like Someone in Love, he divided Cannes critics into two groups. Some considered it is a poor film and some praised it, such as Derek Malcolm and Michael Simon. Some have considered it a delicate pearl in cinema and a contemplative dance along the ambiguous border between fantasy and reality. After recovering from his illness in Tehran, Kiarostami left for France to continue his treatment, but a few days later on July 4, 2016, he suffered a stroke due to a blood clot and died in Paris.